How's it going, Rob with Three Strong? Today, I'm, bringing, I'm tripping over my kettlebell. I'm going to bring out the kettlebell once again. I'm going to force feed you kettlebells until you absolutely love it. Um, I'm going to teach you the goblet squat. Goblet squat is where you're holding the kettlebell in your hands and you're just doing a squat motion. So nothing really changes too much from the regular squat. However, we're just loading the body in a different way. But since we're holding the weight in our hands, we actually run into kind of some postural things um, that are actually really good for posture, forces certain muscles in the upper back to work, uh, forces our legs to work in a slightly different way. So it's a great, um, not only strength training tool, but it's a great mobility exercise. I love putting these into warm-ups um, as well as putting them into my circuits because like I've said before in my previous videos, this is very convenient to have one weight that you can do multiple exercises with. Let me show you what the goblet squat is. There's actually two different ways of holding the kettlebell. Uh, actually, a, a few different ways, not just two. You can grab it by the horns, those are the sides of the handles. Uh, with the kettlebell on the bottom, you can go bottoms up and grab it that way. Or if you don't want to hold it that way, you can grab it by the actual bell where the handle is um, uh, perpendicular to your body, so pointing out. The goblet squat, let me show you this. So you, whichever way you hold it, I'm going to hold it by the horns, bottoms up. Whichever way you hold it, you're going to get your feet a little bit wider than what you would normally have for a squat. We don't want to go narrow on this, and you'll see why. When you go down into the bottom of the squat, you want to be sure that those elbows can fit in between your knees. And this is where the mobility really comes in handy. I'm going to show you from the side. So if you guys notice, I need to keep my chest up to stabilize this weight in front. And as I go down, I still have to keep that chest elevated. But with those elbows inside the knees, that weight actually pushes those, oh, pushes those elbows out and it gets a really good inner thigh stretch. So, so sometimes in a warm up, we'll go down, hold that for a few seconds, and then drive back up, and then just repeat that. Whereas we don't really get that same thing with the barbell on our back, even when we're doing body weight squats, you know, there's not a lot of weight pushing us down, and we can't really force ourselves into that good position. This goblet squat allows us to do that, so we're strengthening, and also stretching at the same time, and we're working through that full range of motion. That's, that's a really good thing to have. Like I said, you can also put these into your circuits. So say you're doing a bunch of different, you know, you're doing a bunch of different swings, a bunch of different things like that. You can easily get that kettlebell up into that position and to be able to load it that way. But key things, make sure you have that chest elevated, abs tight, sinking down into that squat. You can even get the elbows in to get the inner thigh stretch and drive straight up out of it. And repeat for however many times it takes you to get tired. Okay guys? Try that goblet squat in your warm-up or within your workout. I'm sure you're going to love it.